friends, this is Ultraviolet Morgan, and I have done my first reading. I just did a quick, you know, shuffle and let a few cards fall out. Decided to do a reading with my Spellcaster's Tarot. So, and then I just turned them back over so I could have more of a reveal for you. So we have the Tower card. So, obviously, you know, we have some destruction, we have some, um, things falling apart, things under attack, um, very dramatic, sudden change, and we have this Queen of Wands, very beautiful and strong. And then we have the star card for hope and for wishes. So the way that I read or see these three cards right now is um, these two cards are major arcanas. And, of course, the middle card is a court. So I look at it as these things are happening to her. And her being me, basically. So, basically, I see that she is very strong and firm. And she is just taking all of this. She is just taking life as it comes. And transforming it to, you know, the things that she wants. Transforming it to her desires and her wishes and... Basically, taking the raw material of um, life's slings and arrows, of the hardships that come her way, and difficulties, and using that as raw material for um, bringing about what she wants, the desired outcome for her, for myself. So I want to read what the book says about the Queen of Wands because I think it really speaks to this. I mean, the Queen of Wands as a standalone even sort of represents what I'm saying. But this really just shows her really taking all of the all of the um, lightning. And also, interestingly, in my other oracle, which is downstairs, so I can't show it for this video right now. Um, you know what? I'm going to probably do another video in a minute of that one, or maybe not, because it is getting late. But um, I did a three-card draw on an oracle deck that has a woman um, channeling lightning just going through her body and um, it's 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 gorgeous and the other two cards um, it doesn't say she's channeling but it's something like lightning woman lightning warrior I don't know and um, so, for the whole three-card spread, it's basically, to me, speaking about channeling, speaking about being a channel for a message, and not judging the message, um, but merely um, holding it, reflecting it, and let it, letting it move through you. So, here again, I feel like she's just taking this lightning and trans forming it, transmuting it into starlight, if that makes sense. So the Queen of Wands, an individual who is kind and calm, somewhat reserved yet sociable, a person who has a deep love for animals and a genuine appreciation, appreciation for the natural world, compassion, friendliness, one who is a purveyor of peace, 
a situation that involves an animal being able to let go of things that no longer serve the querent, releasing attachments. No words are necessary. Um, an individual who has built success on their own accord, leadership, confidence, capability, independence, being sure of oneself, feeling comfortable in one's own skin, being assured and self-aware. A person uh, reversed, a person whom the card represents is troubled or is at odds with the querent, a lover who's being unfaithful, dishonest, disloyalty. Um, so to me that says that, you know, upright, it, it represents loyalty. Um, sickness or loss of an animal, calm is needed. And um, I really have been connecting with animals a lot lately, which is kind of odd. Been very surprised. Uh, calm is needed a lot. A lack of caring and compassion, greater confidence in one's own abilities is needed. Um, a need to be more objective, a need to let go of that which no longer serves the querent. One's sense of self has been lost, and it must be refreshed and rebuilt, refashioned and rebuilt. I find it interesting that reversed, the card means a need to let go of that which no longer serves the querent. And upright, it means releasing attachments. So, really, it means releasing attachments either way. So, you know, once again, the tower is, um, you know, people feel often that it's cataclysmic, that it's terrible, and it's usually not fun, and honestly, I've been going through a tower decade, at least, um, <laughs> an old friend of mine used to say, the hits keep on coming, um, but what was my real, really my point? Um, you really get the sense with the Queen of Wands uh, that the lightning is only making, is, makes her stronger. Um, you know, Kelly Clarkson didn't invent the phrase, but she did sing, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Um, Taylor Swift says, I got smarter, I got harder in the nick of time. That gives me, yeah, I can see Taylor there. Um, Brittany sings, now I'm stronger. Um, can't remember the rest of the lyrics. Um, Christina Aguilera sings, thanks for making me a fighter. You know, all those things. Uh, Katy Perry sings, this is a part of me that you're never, ever going to take from me. Um, yeah, this, this girl, this this girl has got it. I mean, she's she's seen it. She's taken it before, and she's she just takes what life throws at her, and just keeps getting tougher and harder. And but you know, but not bitter, you know, because she's still got the star. She's still got the hope and the dreams and the wishes and the goals. And it says, um, you know, being self-assured and self-aware, feeling comfortable in one's own skin, independence, leadership. And then in the reversal, it says, one sense of self has been lost and one must be, and it must be refashioned and rebuilt. And I am, like I said, I've been in a tower, uh, decade, <laughs> And I've been in a rebuilding decade uh, of rebuilding who I am. And um, who I am and how I see myself. 
Magical uses. Use in spell to help gain success. Independence, self-reliance. Self-reliance has been a theme for me. Um, if I look back, I can see that I've come very far. And not because of my own choice, <laughs> exactly. Um, I haven't, yeah. It was not much of a choice. Um, it was something I wanted uh, but I didn't choose the way it happened at all. Um, objectivity and freedom of thought reversed. Used to represent dishonesty, disloyalty, and unfaithfulness. I don't know why I would need to represent those things, but... Yeah, I might have to look into that a little. Using... If I, I don't know if I'm going to use this deck for spells, but, yeah, very good, very useful. Um, I'm going to kind of go and check out a little bit for the tower, if I can find it with one hand. And interestingly enough, the tower and the star right next to each other. Of course, as we know, they're numbered 16 and 17. My focus is going. My focus, my focus. The tower, no matter how strong we build the house, the big bad wolf will still show up and blow it down. The tower represents those unexpected blasts of violence and mayhem. That sometimes sweep across our path to erase our footsteps and leave us in despair and anguish. We work hard in life to go further, to reach for the stars, to aim for the heavens. But it, what's often a long climb up is a short fall down. Not a short fall, but a quick fall. The tower shows us that even in the strongest fortress is prone to the ravages of man and time. Whether a prison or a palace, back to dust will crumble the walls in which we dwell. And also, I also want to mention that the card... Okay, the card directly before the tower is Temperance. But the card before Temperance is the Devil. And the tower is also sometimes called the House of God and sometimes called the House of the Devil. So... Another thing with the temp with the tower card, even though people look at it as a negative, it's also in a it's like breaking free. Um, it's being broken free, being broken out of uh, prison, uh, being imprisonment with the devil, with um, those. Um, addictions and chains that we couldn't let go of. Um, it's kind of the universe giving us that little not so subtle push and forcing us to let go for our own good. Uh, destruction, spiritual growth is a challenge or a setback, a fight, an accident, chaos, insecurity, nervousness, instability, adversity. Uh, reversed, it means a circumstance that seems unfortunate brings needed change. Evacuation from a dangerous place or situation. Um, yeah. I kind of agree with the circumstance that seems unfortunate brings me to change as kind of the meaning in this particular layout the star while the tower is a lightning blast that shocks us into anguish and despair the tower is to the tower the star is the fire of hope and inspiration that can warm our hearts on even the coldest nights representing the magical spark and boundless spirit that resides within the world and within us as well the star encourages us to make a wish. It takes more than wishes to make dreams come true, of course, but without a little hope 
and belief, one's chances are slim. The star is the goodness of life, life and love, and to gain her blessing, she has only to dream. The spirit is everlasting, renewal, healing, creativity, spell. A spell is answered, hope, inspiration, an outpouring of spiritual or emotion, nurturing the world with spirit, a wish being held, dreams, astral travel, and magical communication, fertility, plenty after a time of scarcity, opportunity, rain, flooding, a kept promise. Excellent for dream magic, amplifying magical energy, spells to increase ESP, or replenish the spirit, love magic, and charms to make a wish come true. So, yeah. Even though we start off with a tower and, um, I, I, this is not, I didn't read this as a past, present, and future. I read it as things just keep coming and making her stronger and she just transmutes it. But if I did read it as past, present, future, it would be basically similar that, you know, these happened, they created this strong sense of independence and um, confidence and abilities and um, that we're moving into a future of um, manifestation and bringing about um, the positive changes, the rebuilding. So... It's good. It's a good reading. That was my first reading from the Spellcasters Tarot. And this is Ultraviolet Morgan saying, um, peace be with you. Until next time, blessed be.